thanks for staying with us, taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam. The trees becoming more and more fall-like out there as they begin to and continue to change colors. Camera moving around just a bit, still some breezy conditions out there. Those winds will slowly subside as we head through the next few hours. Some 69 degree temperatures right now. Southeast winds at 14 miles per hour and temperatures elsewhere across the region. Also 69 up in Grand Forks, 66 in the Valley City area, 70 in Gwinter, also 70 down in Sisseton. Those winds on the gusty side at times still gusting over 20 miles per hour. They'll subside a bit tonight and then pick up again tomorrow, 10 to 20 miles per hour with some occasional stronger gusts. We've got some cloudiness out there, but we've got some sunshine out there as well. But underneath the thickest clouds off towards the west, we have had some rain over western parts of North Dakota. That continues to drift off towards the north and the northeast, mostly falling apart and will continue to decrease in intensity. But we could see a few isolated sprinkles and showers from Devil's Lake up towards Langdon as we head through the next few hours. But the vast majority of us will stay dry. Across the northern plains, pretty quiet outside of that line of showers from the western and central North Dakota down into western South Dakota and into western Nebraska. Rocky Mountains, seeing some showers and some thunderstorms scattered throughout the uh, region. And off towards the east, some showers and some storms in the Great Lakes. Off towards the northeast, the mid-Atlantic, and lots of showers and storms in southern portions of Florida. Yesterday at this time, Hurricane Matthew, a minimal hurricane with peak winds of 75 miles per hour. Rapidly intensified last night and into today. Now a Category 4 hurricane, a powerful hurricane with peak winds of 140 miles per hour. Anticipated to move off towards the west over the next day or so, and then off towards the north, close to or over the island of Jamaica. Hurricane watches there, and then over western Cuba, and up towards the uh, Bahamas, and towards the southeastern United States. Intensity-wise, track-wise, we'll continue to monitor this. Could be a powerful hurricane that'll be close to the U.S. as we head through the latter portions of next week. As we head through the overnight hours tonight, we'll see some partly cloudy skies. If you are up late, take a gander off towards the north. Could see those... Uh, northern lights. As we head through the overnight hours tonight into tomorrow morning, some fog possible, especially in our eastern counties. Some of that could be locally dense. Keep that in mind if traveling late tonight and early tomorrow. Overnight lows tonight mostly in the low 50s, and we will have that chance for some northern lights. As we head through the day tomorrow, though, a mix of clouds and sunshine, and again, some breezy conditions, 10 to 20 mile per hour winds out of the south and southeast with a few stronger gusts. And we're going to warm on up to temperatures similar to today, some 60s and low 70s under a mix of clouds and a sunshine. And once again, tomorrow night, those northern lights will also be possible. So if you miss out tonight, you get another option tomorrow. Good tailgating weather to start off your Saturday with temperatures in the low 50s, warming through the 50s to into the mid-60s by lunchtime. And those winds will start to kick on out by later on the day. We'll top it on out in the low 70s under some partly to mostly cloudy skies. A nice afternoon. Picture of the day, speaking of nice, thanks to Craig for sending this in. Some northern lights near the Detroit Lakes area. We're going to use that at the background of our seven-day forecast. And some nice weather over the weekend. Some low 70s for your Saturday, mid-70s Sunday. And then the bottom drops out as we hit through next week. Some windy and rainy conditions, especially Tuesday and Wednesday. And a cooling trend. Highs only in the low 60s by Friday. But all in all, not bad in temperatures in terms of temperatures. And your pictures have been great. So if you head out tonight, yeah. you can sleep in tomorrow, right? And yeah, and send... Yeah. Uh, We've gotten great pictures from lots of folks, we so have. send those on in. Thanks, Robert. Yep.